This meeting is being conducted for several reasons. One is to assess whether or not this actually was an intercontinental ballistic missile. Again, Pacific Command, which oversees U.S. military forces in the region, initially labeled it an intermediate range missile. But North Korea is making this claim that it's in fact an ICBM, which is potentially capable of reaching the mainland United States. So this is the first thing the Pentagon is going to want to do is assess, look at the data that they have from the missile to determine whether or not North Korea now has this improved capability. But again, they will, if that is the case, there is a series of options that could be under consideration. There could be diplomatic uh, sanction type options that have been pursued in the past, attempting to get mm -hmm. countries in the region to enforce sanctions more strongly. There are also military options, some as simple as just boosting the military, U.S. military presence in the region with more ships or troops in an effort to kind of uh, to allay the concerns of U.S. allies, Japan and South Korea. So all of these things potentially under consideration given that the U.S. is still trying to determine exactly what North Korea fired yesterday. And, and as you point out, they haven't reached a conclusion yet. Basically, they're looking at the intelligence. North Korea has said that it, it did launch this um, intercontinental ballistic missile. But the big question is, when something like this happens, and the fact that this is of such big concern, how close could the North Koreans be toward actually landing a missile on the U.S. mainland, Ryan? Well, that's the question, and the military analysts are taking a real close look at this. They have seen that North Korea has made progress. This missile mm -hmm. fired yesterday flew longer than any previous missile test North Korea has conducted, about 37 minutes, according to Pacific Command. Now, the, so they are monitoring. They're seeing this uh, kind of this increased skill set being developed mm -hmm. uh, within the North Korean missile regime. But, again, this is something that it's very hard to make a determination whether or not they'll have that actual capability to reach the United States. It's something that the United States plans for. They conduct missile defense system tests uh, in kind of pr planning for this threat, mm -hmm. kind of worst case scenario. But, again, it will be very hard to determine whether or not North Korea has reached that threshold.